Hello Beautiful Souls. And I definitely feel there's an authentic layer here where your person doesn't have to hide from you. I'm getting they can't hide from you, even if they wanted to. And I'm getting also your person doesn't want to hide from you. There's something about your energy that makes your person want to run towards you and kind of express themselves and let everything out. But maybe in the beginning of your connection here, your person definitely felt some adverse emotions. Maybe they felt really raw. Maybe they felt really exposed in a way that they had never felt before that made them kind of, you know, show hot and cold tendencies. I'm definitely getting there was a vast difference between their actions and their emotions here, but your person, something about your energy has been exposed. Maybe this could have been a very intimate conversation, okay? Maybe this could have been an energetic exchange. There's something here where your person knows for sure that you were made for them. Okay, wow, this is very, very powerful energy. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding once in a lifetime. This could definitely be a once in a lifetime type of love here, where your person knows that they're not able to find this anywhere else, anywhere else. But I'm getting that this is like, I just keep getting authenticity. So, Divine Feminine, you may be very, very authentic in the way that you express yourself, in the way that you describe your experiences. Something that really, really, you know, your person really admires about you is your authenticity, your ability to be real your ability to express yourself. Okay, and it kind of makes them want to match that energy and give you that same, you know, that same thing, that same level of expression. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, we have, I put you on a pedestal. It's almost as if you have this ability to really, really shift the dynamic by being in your natural state, by assuming your natural feminine energy and allowing this masculine to assume this action energy here. Okay, I'm definitely getting that there's something about the way that your masculine is viewing you at this current time. They are absolutely aware of how powerful you are, Divine Feminine. It's the way in which you communicate with them. It's the way in which you're able to extract information from them that is so effortless. Okay, but to them, it seems so complex it's almost as if they're trying to figure out your source of power. They're trying to figure out how it is that you're able to pull on them emotionally, sexually, mentally, in every facet of their lives. It's almost as if your energy is extremely intense. You're extremely intuitive. Okay. Obedience is important. So, at this time, your obedience is very, very important. Okay. If you feel intuitively led to do something, do it. If you are in someone's energy and something doesn't feel right, if someone asks you to go somewhere, it's okay to turn down an invitation. It's okay to say no. From Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe. My beloved love, the universe is telling you. The universe is asking you, what do you want? A lot of you Divine Feminines have been so stuck in this cycle of appeasing everybody else around you that you have literally forgotten what it is that you want, who you are, what type of life do you want to live, what do you want, what type of love do you want to have, how much money do you want to have. You know, finances are very, very important in this 3D world. A lot of you have massive abundance coming towards you simply because you are aligning with who you truly were created to be. You are deciding that success is your birthright. Love, true love, true divine love is your birthright. A lot of you were aligned with partners who were not a direct reflection of that. And at this stage of your life, you're being called to simply honor yourself. This may seem foreign to a lot of you because I'm getting a lot of you are very nurturing. A lot of you may be mothers, a lot of you may be really, really good friends, good mates, but in the act of you nurturing everyone else, you have forgotten to nurture yourself. The universe is coming in to nurture you. Okay, the Great Mother is coming in to nurture you and asking you, what do you want? I'm telling you, as you begin to pay attention, and as you begin to align with this energy, your entire world is going to reflect anything that you want. And I'm definitely getting that they're in this process of elimination, just naturally with the planet, 
with this whole recalibration thing happening, things that are not in alignment with who we are and who we are supposed to be and where we are supposed to be is naturally falling away. But this energy is clinging on. This low vibrational energy is clinging on for dear life. Okay. Trying to keep people in this state of confusion. Trying to keep you in this state of fear. Making you feel as if there's nothing more for you out here in the world. And that is absolutely false. Let's get the next message here. Wow. We have you were my first teacher. You provided them with the evidence that everything that they were feeling on the inside of them. They could actually have it in their external world here. It's not just a fantasy. It's not just them reaching for the stars. They believe that love is real because they came in contact with you. I'm definitely getting a compare and contrast energy where it's like your person really settled for something because they were not aware of who they were. Okay. And a lot of times when you go out into the world not knowing who you are, Everything that you come into alignment with will affirm you, and you will literally be stuck in a pattern where everything around you will be a reflection of everything that you are not. And then it's like your person met you. I'm getting perfect stranger. Wow. So it's almost as if you crossed paths with your person. You ignited this. It's like an activation. I'm getting there was like a total activation. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe.